Across the fertile valleys of California, the cool plains of Washington and the rich soils of Michigan, one of America's most elegant vegetables quietly rises from the ground asparagus. Every spring, millions of green spears push through the soil, marking the arrival of a new harvest season. Did you know that American farmers produce over 60 million pounds of asparagus every year? It's not just a simple vegetable. It's a blend of science, patience, and dedication. From planting tiny crowns beneath the soil to hand cutting each spear with care asparagus, farming reflects a perfect harmony between modern innovation and timeless skill. Today, we'll uncover the remarkable journey of asparagus from its first roots deep underground to the moment it reaches your table, crisp, tender, and full of life. Asparagus, known scientifically as Asparagus officinalis, is a perennial vegetable prized for its slender green stalks and mild, slightly earthy flavor. It's packed with vitamins A, C, E, and K, as well as potassium and folate, making it both nutritious and refreshing. There are two main types of asparagus, green and white. Green asparagus grows in sunlight, developing its color through chlorophyll. It has a bold, grassy flavor with a hint of sweetness. White asparagus, on the other hand, is grown underground or covered with fabric to block sunlight, which keeps it pale and gives it a softer, more delicate taste. Asparagus is highly adaptable and thrives from the dry valleys of South America to the cool, fertile lands of North America. The journey of asparagus begins long before the first spear ever breaks through the soil. It starts with preparation, deep tilling, rich compost, and patient care. Once planted, an asparagus bed can keep producing for more than a decade, so every step at the start must be done perfectly. In the United States, most asparagus farms are located in regions with mild winters and well-drained soils, California, Washington, and Michigan. The ground is loosened and cleared of weeds and stones, then enriched with organic compost or aged manure to improve fertility. The ideal soil pH sits between 6.5 and 7.5, slightly neutral, encouraging strong root growth. Unlike most vegetables grown from seeds, asparagus is often planted using crowns the root systems of year-old plants. These crowns are placed into trenches about eight inches deep and spaced roughly 12 to 18 inches apart. Once set, farmers carefully cover them with soil, forming raised beds that protect the roots from standing water and promote air circulation. During the first year farm year, farmers do not harvest any spears at all. The plant focuses entirely on developing its underground network deep fibrous roots that will later send up hundreds of shoots each season. By the second year, small harvests may begin, but only in limited amounts to protect the plant's strength. True commercial harvest doesn't start until the third year when the plants are fully mature. Throughout this time, care is constant. Fields must be kept weed-free and evenly moist as asparagus is sensitive to both drought and water logging. Modern American farms often use drip irrigation systems, delivering precise amounts of water directly to the roots, while sensors monitor soil moisture and temperature in real time. These technologies help farmers reduce waste and grow healthier, more consistent crops. When spring finally returns, the asparagus fields come alive. Each spear emerges straight and fast, sometimes growing up to seven inches in a single day. 
This rapid growth demands daily attention as spears must be harvested at just the right height and thickness. But before that moment comes, the farmer's year-round dedication ensures that every plant is strong enough to deliver its tender, delicious reward. When spring returns, asparagus fields burst into life. In the cool mornings, farmers walk between the rows scanning for spears that have reached the perfect height about 8 to 10 inches. Each one must be cut cleanly at the base using a sharp knife or a long-handled cutter deep enough to separate the spear, but gentle enough not to damage the roots below. It's careful, repetitive work that demands both precision and speed. Each spear is handled with care to prevent bending or bruising, then gathered neatly into baskets before the sun grows too warm. On larger American farms, modern harvesting machines make the process faster and safer. Workers ride low platforms attached to the moving machines cutting spears as they pass. The trimmed asparagus travels on conveyor belts to bins where it's sorted for size and quality. Advanced sensors even detect the exact position of each spear, ensuring only those that meet standards are picked. For white asparagus grown under soil or fabric to block sunlight, farmers first lift the covers before cutting the pale tender spears beneath. Some machines can raise multiple rows of fabric at once, allowing workers to harvest efficiently without damaging the plants. Whether hand-picked or machine-harvested, each spear represents the perfect balance between human care and agricultural technology, a union that keeps America's asparagus fields thriving season after season. After the harvest, the journey of asparagus continues at modern processing facilities. Here, speed and precision are key. The fresher the asparagus, the better its quality. Upon arrival, the spears are placed on automated conveyor belts that lead them through a washing system. Streams of clean, cool water remove soil, sand, and field debris. In some plants, the washing stage also includes a light saltwater rinse to kill bacteria and maintain the vegetable's natural freshness. Next comes sorting and trimming. Workers or optical machines check each spear's length, thickness, and straightness. Any spears that are too short, too curved, or discolored are removed. The rest are trimmed at the base to ensure uniform size perfect for packaging. The asparagus is then quickly cooled using cold water misting or ice baths. This rapid drop in temperature helps lock in moisture color and flavor. Once cooled, the spears are packed into ventilated trays or plastic bags with small holes that allow air circulation while preventing moisture buildup. For long distance shipping, asparagus is often stored at 32, 36 degrees in cold rooms. This controlled temperature keeps the vegetable crisp and bright for several days. Some farms also prepare frozen or canned asparagus. Especially for export. In these cases, the spears are blanched briefly in hot water, then sealed and sterilized to ensure long shelf life without losing color or nutrients.
Finally, every box is labeled with the farm's origin and batch number, ready to be shipped to supermarkets, restaurants, and export terminals. From field to factory, every step is designed to preserve the freshness that makes asparagus one of the most loved spring vegetables in America. From the quiet farmlands of California to the cool plains of Michigan, every spear of asparagus tells a story of patience, care, and innovation. What begins as a tiny root beneath the soil takes years of nurturing before it's ready to harvest. And when spring finally arrives, farmers rise before dawn to collect the tender green spears that mark the season's start. Behind every bundle at the market is a chain of dedication. The workers who hand cut each spear, the engineers who design precise harvesting machines, and the packers who ensure freshness reaches your table. Together they form a living rhythm of modern American agriculture, one that respects nature while embracing technology. It's no wonder asparagus has become one of the country's signature spring crops valued for both its flavor and its resilience. Whether grilled, roasted, or simply steamed, each spear carries the taste of the earth and the labor of countless hands. So next time you enjoy asparagus at your dinner table, take a moment to think about where it began in rows of sunlit fields tended by farmers who know that great harvests are never rushed, only earned through patience and care.